Hi guys, this is Steve with homebrewvideos.com. And today we're gonna to talk about malt extract. So what is malt extract? What do I need to know about it? And how does it help me out as a home brewer? Well, to make a long story short, malt extract is your friend. It cuts out a huge, tedious, kind of pain in the ass process of mashing. So what is mashing? Mashing is the first step in making beer. We're gonna to have to take a large quantity of water, a large quantity of malted barley, you need to hold it at a very specific temperature for a very specific amount of time. Then you have to drain it, you have to rinse the grains, and then you, what you collect, you then start in a boil, and then you start adding your hops and other brewing ingredients. So what malt extract does is cuts out that entire first process, and you just get straight to the boil. It's a huge time saver, and you know, for people who are limited in space and uh, you know, to keep costs down, this is a really better way to brew. So malt extract, what it does is it takes that mashing process and these malt companies do this for you, they do the hard work for us. They produce a mash, they get it dialed in at just the right numbers, densities, everything, they do it perfectly. And then they evaporate that mash down into a concentrate. So this is the first type of malt extract, it's called, we just refer to it as syrup or liquid malt extract. So it's a very concentrated, uh, you know, runoff basically from the mash. Uh, typical homebrew recipes call for anywhere from, you know, maybe four, four to 10, 12 pounds of this stuff. So it's really a huge time saver, not to mention a big space saver, because, you know, you don't have to have the huge mash ton or the false bottom sparge arm, all these things that really can get quite expensive. So this is liquid malt extract. Now it also comes in a powder form, which is referred to as dry malt extract. So it's the same principle here. The, the malt company does a mash. They evaporate it down, but then they also take it to another level and dehydrate it down into a powder. So most homebrewers will probably tell you you don't really want to brew a beer with dry malt extract as your base. You want to go with a liquid malt extract. I would probably agree with that statement, but you know, hey, you're free to experiment with it. Uh, dry malt extract is great to add to a brew to give it a little more complexity on top of some liquid malt extract. It's great for creating a yeast starter. Um, and it's just very easy to work with because it stores very well because it's dehydrated. Liquid malt extract, you really want to use it all in one shot. It's not going to keep very long. You know, it's sealed in a can, but um, you know, once you open it, you really want to use it all that day. So again, malt extract cuts out the mashing process. It's a great shortcut to get started with brewing, but it's not really a compromise. I mean, you can brew some fantastic beers with malt extract. In fact, there are a number of breweries out there, professional breweries that win awards every year that they don't mash themselves either. They order malt extract. So it's not limiting. It's not a rookie move. I'm still doing it years later. You know, I'm very limited on space in my condo in the middle of Chicago. So you can still make great beer with this stuff. So remember for tips and tricks and everything you need to know to get started with, with home brewing, visit homebrewvideos.com. Thanks for watching.